So we're going to just try and do this in one take. Good luck with that. Okay, so... Oh, I'm just, I just need to do my hair and makeup again. Oh, really? Well, the trouble is, truth is... In one you, take, including doing hair and makeup. Truth is, you can edit this bit, because we haven't started. No, I think we should have this one too. Let me just check mine. Yep. That needed doing. Right. Okay, I'm going to put this in my pocket. I've got the ringer turned off. Okay, you've got your ringer turned <clears> off. <throat> okay. Um, wait a minute, I've got a good first line, which is a diff different way of introducing ourselves. Yeah. I'm going to use your name, and then you just need to use my name, but that's all. Um, okay. Let me just get this first sentence, and then we'll begin. Okay, ready? Do you want to wait for the aeroplane? Okay, <laughs> yes. But if it happens again... We just carry on. We're just going to... This is going to be you and I just chatting now, although yeah. weirdly looking at that and yeah. occasionally gesticulating. Gesticulating and rubbing each other up the wrong way. We'll edit that bit. Rubbing each other up the wrong way? It's just about irritating each other. That's right. Mm. We mm. can say that. Okay. Are you ready? No. Jono. I understand that you're one of the two artists who are working on the Fields of Everyone project. I am, I am. I'm one of the artists. The other artist, I believe, is yourself, oh, Neil. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> um, tell me something about that project. What is it that you're doing at the moment? Okay, so I'm currently working on the Fields of Everyone, and we are making a 25 metre high embroidery that we're then going to fly above the landscape in Thamesmead. Yeah. Is that the type of work that you do typically? Is that normal for you? That's the type of work I'm doing typically right now. <laughs> and <laughs> no, I guess is the other answer to that. Not really. Uh, everything I like to do, everything that we tend to do is different. It's very specific to the place and people. And this has been really particular about people and place. Which is what I want to pick up on, because this is a project that's about the people of Thamesmead. Mm. It's about the stories of the everyday. So we're making a monumental statement out of the everyday details, the minutiae, if you like, of people's lives. And also, historically, how people came to be in Thamesmead. So, as, as my colleague here correctly said, this will be a 25-metre high balloon flying as, uh, in a sense, a modern-day Bayer tapestry, which records... A yeah. moment of history. Does that excite you? Yeah, it's like a textile sculpture. It, 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 it's not <laughs> like a textile no, it sculpture. Is, it, it is, is an a textile sculpture. Textile scu oh, that's true. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, it does excite me. It excites me because it's been genuinely an amazing journey to build it so far. We, you know, we, we've we've met so many people, and the building of it has been the relationships that we've met, you know made with people and their response to to the to the commission, if you like, because we've commissioned the community. To, to share their stories and for that then to be shared you know it, well hopefully globally when people will see it online and yeah that's quite exciting we often say that what we do in a sense isn't the artwork what, what happens through our relationships with people through the meetings and the conversations is really where the art lives and this is a really good example of that because we're making something very visual but actually it's the experience and it's the memory of the experience that is the really significant element of that. And I think the thing that I'm really excited about, particularly with this project, is it's a massive celebration of really diverse communities who actually really get together in the most amazing of ways. You know, we've been, over the last two years, involved in festivals that have been going on and various community events, and seen those demonstrating that there is already really strong communities and that they integrate really well and there's a lot of relationships connecting people together and clearly the culture that's there is really quite exciting dy dy dynamic and diverse so it's been really nice to to see that and then be able to celebrate and share that show that on like, such a large scale and yeah we're really looking forward to hearing what you think about it and seeing your responses to the to the 25 meter high hot air balloon so Jono, why a balloon? Ask me. Ask me why is it? Oh balloon? yeah. So so why why did we choose a balloon? What was the point of that? That's a really good question, Jono. Thank you. <laughs> That's why you asked it. The reason that it's a balloon. There's a lot of history about Thamesmead and balloons in particular. So for example, the first ever aerial photograph of Thamesmead 
was taken from a balloon and that's the first way that you can map a landscape in a sense. Um, in the late 1800s the only way that you could look back down at the inhabited landscape was from a hot air balloon. So this seems a very significant way because we're looking at the landscape now as a map of stories. So it's a significant way of recording that map of stories. And isn't, then, Isn't there also a history of uh, balloons in Thamesmead? A, a lot of balloons. Tell me about that well, then. I believe there That's was That's exactly a, what I was about okay. to say. Well, I believe there was an arsenal there. And, uh, yes. And during the, the wars, they, they had very large balloons there to protect that, that landscape effectively. So this is barrage balloons barrage during balloons. the war. And it was, I believe, the most heavily protected mm. area of London. So we see this artwork as, in a sense, a form of protection as well. Because it's yeah. about community. And if you've got a community that's connected and sharing and caring you have a form of uh, a really protected group protection. of people so yeah. we've been we've loved working in Thamesmead and, and finding all the community connections that there are and it's extremely rich and extremely vibrant which we hope is what uh, the experience of this artwork will be and Neil what, what's the actual artwork what's been created for the balloon what sort of things have been done we've had about 170 responses as forms of artwork from one person to another almost like a gift so somebody leaves a story on a website which is what we've created um, and that's indeed where this video is sitting and someone else then or indeed that person has responded to it often and usually through textiles through embroidery but sometimes through painting through drawing and what's really beautiful about that is the interpretation of the story mm. is very very commonly by someone who's never met the person that they're describing in their art and so there's this lovely kind of building of community and exchange of ideas and for us this is where the art is really really significant and really powerful it's about connections between people and then we're going to be flying it well we will have flown it well, by the time you've seen this video you, you may well have seen it but we're going to be flying it over this this year of 2022 uh, five times and in that time, every one of those flights, there'll be opportunity for people to come and see an inflation, to see how a hot air balloon is inflated, how it gets put together. And then also to see physically the stories on the balloon. And we've also we've created a digital platform that can interact with that, haven't we? So how does that work? When people are looking at the balloon in the air, you literally go onto your phone. You can see a story that's up there on the balloon. You can then find that story on the digital app on your phone. You can click on it and it will tell you who created the artwork and it will tell you who posted the story in the first place. And you can then press on an audio clip or a written uh, commentary which describes to you what it is that you're looking at. So the whole thing is very accessible. Um, and at the moment, as we're recording this, we're in the process of building the balloon. So we are the builders of it. It's, it's something that we're creating. And um, for us, it's going to be a really, really exciting moment to actually get to that point where we're seeing these stories flying over Thamesmead. So we're looking forward to seeing you and hope that you enjoy Fields of Everywhere. Thank you. Right, that's take one. Yeah. Probably as good as we get. It's, it's reasonably good, I think.